Christian Rhine Appraising Services. They are certified to provide appraisals for your next transaction. Swift Services. Ted and Shelley Fuchs, proud to support Hayes High and TMP. Home Steel Siding and Windows, making your home or business beautiful, energy efficient, and comfortable. Next Tech Wireless, avid supporters of local schools. Are you ready for something different? See Next Tech Wireless. Lifetime Dental Care, see Dr. Jeffrey Lowe and the team at Lifetime Dental Care for stress-free dentistry. Steel Fabrications, the Iron Men of Western Kansas. Redeem Designs, screen print, embroidery, design, where you'll find better ideas, better designs, better people. Come experience the best at 2204 Vine and Hayes. Beaker Insurance, delivering quality insurance solutions. Hayes Chevrolet, they love to do business with a smile and a handshake. GY Electric, Greg and Candace Yost, wishing everyone good luck in the postseason. Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau, wishing the Hayes High Indians and the TMP Monarchs good luck. Coldwell Banker Executive Realty, they believe there is nothing more powerful or more important than a home. Call or stop by today for all of your real estate needs. Gibbs Auto Supply, Find the best in parts and auto accessories at Gibbs Auto Supply, your local Napa store. Classic Quality Body Shop, convenient direct repair with expert body work, versatile car rentals, and easy scheduling. Come see Shelton and the team. Vernie's Hamburger House, feed yourself or the whole team with great burgers, milkshakes, and the award-winning onion rings. And by Eagle Communications, Catch all of this year's March Madness games in high definition with Eagle's HD TV package. Call 877-61-EAGLE to sign up today. Eagle Communications, our community connected. This postseason basketball broadcast is brought to you by Cross Manufacturing. Looking for a few good people to join our team? Apply today and count on durable hydraulics from Cross. Thomas More Prep Marion. Worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. Walmart Superstore, save money, live better, Walmart. Bacon Rhine Appraising Services, they are certified to provide appraisals for your next transaction. Swift Services, Ted and Shelley Fuchs, proud to support Hayes High and TMP. Home Steel Siding and Windows, making your home or business beautiful, energy efficient, and comfortable. Next Tech Wireless, avid supporters of local schools. Are you ready for something different? See Next Tech Wireless. Lifetime Dental Care. See Dr. Jeffrey Lowe and the team at Lifetime Dental Care for stress-free dentistry. Steel Fabrications, the Iron Men of Western Kansas. Redeem Designs, screen print, embroidery, design where you'll find better ideas, better designs, better people. Come experience the best at 2204 Vine and Hayes. Beaker Insurance, delivering quality insurance solutions. Hayes Chevrolet, they love to do business with a smile and a handshake. GY Electric, Greg and Candace Yost, wishing everyone good luck in the postseason. Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau, Wishing the Hayes High Indians and the TMP Monarchs good luck. Coldwell Banker Executive Realty. They believe there is nothing more powerful or more important than a home. Call or stop by today for all of your real estate needs. Gibbs Auto Supply. Find the best in parts and auto accessories at Gibbs Auto Supply, your local Napa store. Classic Quality Body Shop. Convenient direct repair with expert body work, versatile car rentals, and easy scheduling. Come see Shelton and the team. Vernie's Hamburger House. Feed yourself or the whole team with great burgers, milkshakes, and the award-winning onion rings. And by Eagle Communications.
catch all of this year's March Madness games in high definition with Eagle's HD TV package. Call 877-61-EAGLE to sign up today. Eagle Communications, our community connected. This postseason basketball broadcast is brought to you by Cross Manufacturing. Looking for a few good people to join our team? Apply today and count on durable hydraulics from Cross. Thomas More Prep Marion, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. Walmart Superstore, save money, live better, Walmart. Bacon Ryan Appraising Services, they are certified to provide appraisals for your next transaction. Swift Services, Ted and Shelley Fuchs, proud to support Hayes High and TMP. Home Steel Siding and Windows, making your home or business beautiful, energy efficient, and comfortable. Next Tech Wireless, avid supporters of local schools. Are you ready for something different? See Next Tech Wireless. Lifetime Dental Care, see Dr. Jeffrey Lowe and the team at Lifetime Dental Care for stress-free dentistry. Steel Fabrications, the Iron Men of Western Kansas. Redeem Designs, screen print, embroidery, design, where you'll find better ideas, better designs, better people. Come experience the best at 2204 Vine and Hayes. Beaker Insurance, delivering quality insurance solutions. Hayes Chevrolet, they love to do business with a smile and a handshake. GY Electric, Greg and Candace Yost, wishing everyone good luck in the postseason. Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau, wishing the Hayes High Indians and the TMP Monarchs good luck. Coldwell Banker Executive Realty, they believe there is nothing more powerful or more important than a home. Call or stop by today for all of your real estate needs. Gibbs Auto Supply. Find the best in parts and auto accessories at Gibbs Auto Supply, your local Napa store. Classic Quality Body Shop. Convenient direct repair with expert body work. Versatile car rentals and easy scheduling. Come see Shelton and the team. Vernie's Hamburger House. Feed yourself or the whole team with great burgers, milkshakes, and the award-winning onion rings. And by Eagle Communications, catch all of this year's March Madness games in high definition with Eagle's HD TV package. Call 877-61-EAGLE to sign up today. Eagle Communications, our community connected. This postseason basketball broadcast is brought to you by Cross Manufacturing. Looking for a few good people to join our team? Apply today and count on durable hydraulics from Cross. Thomas More Prep Marion, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. Walmart Superstore, save money, live better, Walmart. Bacon Ryan Appraising Services, they are certified to provide appraisals for your next transaction. Swift Services, Ted and Shelley Fuchs, proud to support Hayes High and TMP. Home Steel Siding and Windows, making your home or business beautiful, energy efficient, and comfortable. Next Tech Wireless, avid supporters of local schools. Are you ready for something different? See Next Tech Wireless. Lifetime Dental Care, see Dr. Jeffrey Lowe and the team at Lifetime Dental Care for stress-free dentistry. Steel Fabrications, the Iron Men of Western Kansas. Redeem Designs, screen print, embroidery, design, where you'll find better ideas, better designs, better people. Come experience the best at 2204 Vine and Hayes. Beaker Insurance, delivering quality insurance solutions. Hayes Chevrolet, they love to do business with a smile and a handshake. GY Electric, Greg and Candace Yost, wishing everyone good luck in the postseason. Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau, wishing the Hayes High Indians and the TMP Monarchs good luck. Coldwell Banker Executive Realty, they believe there is nothing more powerful or more important than a home. Call or stop by today for all of your real estate needs. 
Gibbs Auto Supply. Find the best in parts and auto accessories at Gibbs Auto Supply, your local Napa store. Classic quality body shop. Convenient direct repair with expert body work. Versatile car rentals and easy scheduling. Come see Shelton and the team. Bernie's Hamburger House. Feed yourself for the whole team with great burgers, milkshakes, and the award-winning onion rings. And by Eagle Communications. Catch all of this year's March Madness games in high definition with Eagle's HD TV package. Call 877-61-EAGLE to sign up today. Eagle Communications, our community connected. This postseason basketball broadcast is brought to you by Cross Manufacturing. Looking for a few good people to join our team? Apply today and count on durable hydraulics from Cross. Thomas More Prep Marion, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. Walmart Superstore, save money, live better, Walmart. Bacon Rhine Appraising Services, they are certified to provide appraisals for your next transaction. Swift Services, Ted and Shelley Fuchs, proud to support Hayes High and TMP. Home Steel Siding and Windows, making your home or business beautiful, energy efficient, and comfortable. Next Tech Wireless, avid supporters of local schools. Are you ready for something different? See Next Tech Wireless. Lifetime Dental Care, see Dr. Jeffrey Lowe and the team at Lifetime Dental Care for stress-free dentistry. Steel Fabrications, the Iron Men of Western Kansas. Redeem Designs, screen print, embroidery, design, where you'll find better ideas, better designs, better people. Come experience the best at 2204 Vine and Hayes. Beaker Insurance, delivering quality insurance solutions. Hayes Chevrolet, they love to do business with a smile and a handshake. GY Electric, Greg and Candace Yost, wishing everyone good luck in the postseason. Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau, wishing the Hayes High Indians and the TMP Monarchs good luck. Coldwell Banker Executive Realty, they believe there is nothing more powerful or more important than a home. Call or stop by today for all of your real estate needs. Gibbs Auto Supply. Find the best in parts and auto accessories at Gibbs Auto Supply, your local Napa store. Classic quality body shop. Convenient direct repair with expert body work. Versatile car rentals and easy scheduling. Come see Shelton and the team. Bernie's Hamburger House. Feed yourself or the whole team with great burgers, milkshakes, and the award-winning onion rings. And by Eagle Communications. Catch all of this year's March Madness games in high definition with Eagle's HD TV package. Call 877-61-EAGLE to sign up today. Eagle Communications, our community connected. This postseason basketball broadcast is brought to you by Cross Manufacturing. Looking for a few good people to join our team? Apply today and count on durable hydraulics from Cross. Thomas More Prep Marion, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. Walmart Superstore, save money, live better, Walmart. Bacon Rhine Appraising Services, they are certified to provide appraisals for your next transaction. Swift Services, Ted and Shelley Fuchs, proud to support Hayes High and TMP. Home Steel Siding and Windows, making your home or business beautiful, energy efficient, and comfortable. Next Tech Wireless, avid supporters of local schools. Are you ready for something different? See Next Tech Wireless. Lifetime Dental Care, see Dr. Jeffrey Lowe and the team at Lifetime Dental Care for stress-free dentistry. Steel Fabrications, the Iron Men of Western Kansas. Redeem Designs, screen print, embroidery, design, where you'll find better ideas, better designs, better people. Come experience the best at 2204 Vine and Hayes. Beaker Insurance, delivering quality insurance solutions. Hayes Chevrolet, 
They love to do business with a smile and a handshake. GY Electric, Greg and Candace Yost, wishing everyone good luck in the postseason. Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau, wishing the Hayes High Indians and the TMP Monarchs good luck. Coldwell Banker Executive Realty, they believe there is nothing more powerful or more important than a home. Call or stop by today for all of your real estate needs. Gibbs Auto Supply. Find the best in parts and auto accessories at Gibbs Auto Supply, your local Napa store. Classic Quality Body Shop. Convenient direct repair with expert body work. Versatile car rentals and easy scheduling. Come see Shelton and the team. Vernie's Hamburger House. Feed yourself or the whole team with great burgers, milkshakes, and the award-winning onion rings. And by Eagle Communications. Catch all of this year's March Madness games in high definition with Eagle's HD TV package. Call 877-61-EAGLE to sign up today. Eagle Communications, our community connected. This postseason basketball broadcast is brought to you by Cross Manufacturing. Looking for a few good people to join our team? Apply today and count on durable hydraulics from Cross. Thomas More Prep Marion, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. Walmart Superstore, save money, live better, Walmart. Bacon Rhine Appraising Services, they are certified to provide appraisals for your next transaction. Swift Services, Ted and Shelley Fuchs, proud to support Hayes High and TMP. Home Steel Siding and Windows, making your home or business beautiful, energy efficient, and comfortable. Next Tech Wireless, avid supporters of local schools. Are you ready for something different? See Next Tech Wireless. Lifetime Dental Care, see Dr. Jeffrey Lowe and the team at Lifetime Dental Care for stress-free dentistry. Steel Fabrications, the Iron Men of Western Kansas. Redeem Designs, screen print, embroidery, design where you'll find better ideas, better designs, better people. Come experience the best at 2204 Vine and Hayes. Beaker Insurance, delivering quality insurance solutions. Hayes Chevrolet, they love to do business with a smile and a handshake. GY Electric, Greg and Candace Yost, wishing everyone good luck in the postseason. Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau, Wishing the Hayes High Indians and the TMP Monarchs good luck. Coldwell Banker Executive Realty. They believe there is nothing more powerful or more important than a home. Call or stop by today for all of your real estate needs. Gibbs Auto Supply. Find the best in parts and auto accessories at Gibbs Auto Supply, your local Napa store. Classic Quality Body Shop. Convenient direct repair with expert body work. Versatile car rentals and easy scheduling. Come see Shelton and the team. Vernie's Hamburger House. Feed yourself or the whole team with great burgers, milkshakes, and the award-winning onion rings. And by Eagle Communications. Catch all of this year's March Madness games in high definition with Eagle's HD TV package. Call 877-61-EAGLE to sign up today. Eagle Communications, our community connected. This postseason basketball broadcast is brought to you by Cross Manufacturing. Looking for a few good people to join our team? Apply today and count on durable hydraulics from Cross. Thomas More Prep Marion, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. Walmart Superstore, save money, live better, Walmart. Bacon Rhine Appraising Services. They are certified to provide appraisals for your next transaction. Swift Services. Ted and Shelley Fuchs, proud to support Hayes High and TMP. Home Steel Siding and Windows. Making your home or business beautiful, energy efficient, and comfortable. Next Tech Wireless. Avid supporters of local schools. Are you ready for something different? See Next Tech Wireless. Lifetime Dental Care, 
See Dr. Jeffrey Lowe and the team at Lifetime Dental Care for stress-free dentistry. Steel Fabrications, the Iron Men of Western Kansas. Redeem Designs, screen print, embroidery, design, where you'll find better ideas, better designs, better people. Come experience the best at 2204 Vine and Hayes. Beaker Insurance, delivering quality insurance solutions. Hayes Chevrolet, they love to do business with a smile and a handshake. GY Electric, Greg and Candace Yost, wishing everyone good luck in the postseason. Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau, wishing the Hayes High Indians and the TMP Monarchs good luck. Coldwell Banker Executive Realty, they believe there is nothing more powerful or more important than a home. Call or stop by today for all of your real estate needs. Gibbs Auto Supply, find the best in parts and auto accessories at Gibbs Auto Supply, your local Napa store. Classic Quality Body Shop, convenient direct repair with expert body work, versatile car rentals, and easy scheduling. Come see Shelton and the team. Vernie's Hamburger House, feed yourself or the whole team with great burgers, milkshakes, and the award-winning onion rings. And by Eagle Communications, catch all of this year's March Madness games in high definition with Eagle's HD TV package. Call 877-61-EAGLE to sign up today. Eagle Communications, our community connected. This postseason basketball broadcast is brought to you by Cross Manufacturing. Looking for a few good people to join our team? Apply today and count on durable hydraulics from Cross. Thomas More Prep Marion, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. Walmart Superstore, save money, live better, Walmart. Bacon Rhine Appraising Services, they are certified to provide appraisals for your next transaction. Swift Services, Ted and Shelley Fuchs, proud to support Hayes High and TMP. Home Steel Siding and Windows, making your home or business beautiful, energy efficient, and comfortable. Next Tech Wireless, avid supporters of local schools. Are you ready for something different? See Next Tech Wireless. Lifetime Dental Care, see Dr. Jeffrey Lowe and the team at Lifetime Dental Care for stress-free dentistry. Steel Fabrications, the Iron Men of Western Kansas. Redeem Designs, screen print, embroidery, design, where you'll find better ideas, better designs, better people. Come experience the best at 2204 Vine and Hayes. Beaker Insurance, delivering quality insurance solutions. Hayes Chevrolet, they love to do business with a smile and a handshake. GY Electric, Greg and Candace Yost, wishing everyone good luck in the postseason. Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau, wishing the Hayes High Indians and the TMP Monarchs good luck. Coldwell Banker Executive Realty, they believe there is nothing more powerful or more important than a home. Call or stop by today for all of your real estate needs. Gibbs Auto Supply. And welcome into the Sports Arena in Hutchinson, the opening day for the girls for the 3A state basketball tournament. And our quarterfinal matchup features the TMP Lady Monarchs and the Wellsville Lady Eagles. Jeremy McGuire along with Dave Barber, studio engineer Joel Shorman back in the 99 KZ Country Studios for Eagle TV and Hayes Post. Have Matthew Campbell and Curtis Sander. Dave, tell you what. Three years in a row, TMP back here again. Lady Monarchs used to this arena, used to the noise, used to the pressure, but a big game. You're facing a Wellsville team that uh, has played some good basketball this year. They really have, and, and you know, you, you're, you don't get here if you're not, and we've already seen today that the only thing seeds mean is you had a pretty good regular season, <laughs> and when you get here, they kind of go out the window, so 
You have to take care of business. That's what it's about for the Lady Monarchs tonight. And what Dave means is the number two seed, Nemaha Central, they are going home as they lost to the number seven seed, Royal Valley, 51 to 48. TMP, they come in record of 20 and two. They have losses this year. They're to state ranked teams. Number one team in class 5A, St. Thomas Aquinas, and then Abilene in 4A. But uh, the, the Lady Monarchs have played a good schedule. They uh, played tough. They look good in the sub-state and uh, I think are primed and ready for a run here in Hutchinson. Well, what I like about them is, is right now, to me at least, it seems like they are playing the best basketball, and that's what you want to be doing when you come into a tournament like this, but uh, can't take anything for granted because, uh, you know, this other team's excited and, and wants to be here as well. Team P Basketball brought to you in part by Thomas Moore Prep Marion, Bacon Ryan Appraising Services, Home Steel Siding and Windows, Cross Manufacturing, Walmart, by Swift Services, Next Tech Wireless, and by Lifetime Dental Care. Midwest Energy Road to the Championship. Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative, making energy work for you. Looking at the starters as they announce them here at the sports arena right now for Wellsville, they'll go with number three, Grace Showalter, a 5'8 junior. Number five, Sydney Dwyer, a 5'5 senior. Demi Amel, the 5'6 sophomore, will get the start for Wellsville. Paige McDaniel, the 5'10 junior, and Maddie McCoy, the 5'9 sophomore, gets the start for Wellsville. For TMP, like they've went most of the year, Emily Shippers, a 5'9 junior, Jillian Lowe, a 5'6 junior, Aubrey Kenningsman, a 5'6 senior. Then you get to some of the height inside. You have Savannah Yost, the 5'11 senior, and Kayla Vitzdom, the 5'10 senior. And TMP, they could take advantage on the interior, Dave Barber. That's a good thing about this team. We've talked about their balance. They have the balance on the outside. They have the balance on the inside. You try to shut down one of them, and that leaves the other one usually vulnerable for the defense. Well, we've, and, we, and Kayla is so good at seeing that open backside when Savannah Yost can get free and hit her. Savannah could have a big game here today. If, uh, if that's how it works out. Well, we are set and ready to go. The officials are in their spots. The two teams getting their final instructions. Rose McFarland talking with the Lady Monarchs and Brock Campbell talking with the Lady Eagles. Tell you what, Dave, TMP seemed uh, very relaxed and loose in the pregame warm-ups, even posed for a picture for us. <laughs> uh, I think they're ready to go. I, I think so. And that, Again, that just comes from the experience of being here. This should be a fun one, Jeremy. We'll get after it right now. TMP and Wellsville tip off coming up. Wellsville in their road blues with the white numerals and lettering trimmed in red. TMP, their home whites with the navy blues trimmed in gold and, or silver, excuse me. And it's TMP basketball off the tip. Wellsville's going to drop into a 2 3 zone to start this ball game. In the corner, Emily Shippers. Now Aubrey Kettingsman left open, but a little bit too far outside that three point arc. On the backside, Yost catches in some trouble. Now he's going to look to skip it to Jillian Lowe. Drives the lane. Shot up. No good. Rebound tipped out of bounds by TMP. Last touch by Yost. That's why I like the look. I like the cut to the basket going left hand with Jillian, but unfortunately didn't come away with the points, but a good offensive set that time. Back over to Wellsville, their first offensive set. Here they go. Amold into the lane. Layup is good. Demi Amold. Her first two. And you see the quickness on the penetration. I think it caught us on our heels a little bit, driving right by us. Left wing, Jillian Lowe fires up a three. She knocks it home. The first points of the game for TMP. The Lady Monarchs up three to two. That is something that will help TMP out a lot. There's a drive to the bucket by Wellsville out. It's Amold with the basketball, leading scorer for this club. They love to drive it inside. Shot off the glass and in. For Paige McDaniel, her first two. Four to three, Lady Eagles. 6.50 to go here in the first quarter. TMP down by a point. Jillian Lowe plays it in the corner to Savannah Yost. Back to Jillian. Top side to Emily Shippers. Thought about the three. Now Vitzdom on the right wing in the corner. 
They're looking to get it inside to Kayla. Bounces it into her. Drives in. Goes off the glass. Can't score it. Rebound on the backside. Pulled out of there by Showalter. One and done that time for TMP. McDaniel on the other end nearly traveled with it. On the top side, Showalter drives in. Kicks it out a long three. That one's off the mark. Rebound pulled down by Aubrey Kenningsman. Left to right for TMP. Down by a point. On the right wing, Shippers looks on the baseline to Savannah Yost, back to Emily. They'll swing it around the perimeter. Jillian Lowe in the corner, left open for three, on the way, missed everything. Shippers on the backside, had the rebound, shot was blocked. Wellsville with the basketball, and then a foul on Emily Shippers. Boy, Emily's got to be smarter than that. You have to protect each and every foul, everything so vitally important here in this state tournament. Adele Riedel to check in for TMP, replacing Shippers. Adele's been a spark plug off the bench this season for TMP. Wellsville basketball. McCoy will get it into Amold. Left-handed dribble as she comes into the front court. She'll drive between the legs. Nearly lost it. Got it back as Aubrey Kenningsman will have the defense on her. Boy, Aubrey is uh, used to getting a tough defensive assignment. Shot inside, no good. Boy, Vitstam got hammered. Ball's on the floor. It's going to be Wellsville basketball underneath. Shot no, but a foul on TMP. Boy, Vitstam got hammered. No call, and Aubrey Kenningsman has whistled for the infraction. And two free throws coming for Sidney Dwyer, a 67% free throw shooter. Free throw up and good for Dwyer, her first point. 5-3, Wellsville on top. 5.31 to go first quarter. Second free throw on the mark. Lady Monarchs down by three, six to three. One three-pointer by Jillian Lowe. All the scoring for TMP. Vits him on the left wing. Kayla will go inside, has a mismatch against Dwyer. We'll see if TMP can take advantage of it. Aubrey Kenningsman gonna direct some traffic for the Lady Monarchs. Aubrey gets it back. Kayla. Going through the lane. They basically got a box and one right now on yep. TMP. Vitstam on the outside, picked up by Showalter. Back to Kenningsman. Lady Monarchs getting the uh, plays called out, and that's going to be a foul on Dwyer going for the steal on Kenningsman. TMP basketball brought to you by Equity Bank, the largest growing bank in Kansas at 2428 Vine and Hayes. Open up an account today, and Equity Bank will donate to a local charity of your choice, and you'll leave with a bag of coffee. Stop in today, Equity Bank. Skip pass up top of Del Riedel, a long three for the tie. No good. Rebounded by Vitstam. The Kenningsman for the tie. That one's good. Aubrey with her first points. We're tied at six. Good job with the offensive rebound. Nice kick back out. Good look. Amol drives to the elbow, cut off by Kenningsman. Showalter will drive in across the lane, outside. On the bounce with the basketball is McCoy. Gets it back to Amol. Drives, step back three, no good. Rebound. Vitstam pulls it out for TMP. Kayla is going to go coast to coast to the rim. Layup is good. The Lady Monarchs are on top. Kayla Vitsum with her first two, eight to six TMP, a five to nothing run by the Lady Monarchs. Well, nice to see him get that first transition basket off the steal. Dwyer looked like she might have carried it. They're going to say she was passing it. Showalter into the lane, kicks it out, nearly stolen. Boy, a good play in the corner that time by Dwyer to keep the play alive. Wellsville into the lane, step back three up and good. Paige McDaniel with five. It's a one-point Wellsville lead, nine to eight, Lady Eagles. That's a balanced team. All of them can shoot it. You just have to guard everywhere. Vitston left wing in the corner to low. Jillian on the bounce, picks up the dribble, top side to Adele Riedel. Now Adele gets it to Kayla Vitston. She'll drive the lane, go to the rim, shot no but a foul. So Kayla will go to the line and shoot two. Good job by her seeing that gap and getting right in there. Yeah, if they give her that little lane to drive, she can take advantage of that all night long. Grace Showalter picks up the foul, bits them at the line to shoot a pair. First one on the way, nothing but net. Three points for Kayla. We're tied at nine. 3.23 to play here in the first quarter. Both teams playing awfully well on both ends. Looking to give TMP the lead, and she hit it. So Kayla with four early points. 10-9, Lady Monarchs by a point. 
Amel into the front court. Well, she can step back, she can shoot it, plays it in the corner. Baseline drive, inside, shot on the way. A three-pointer, no good. Vitzdom, no. Riedel goes with it, plays it up the floor to Emily Shippers. What a smart play by Emily to get that basketball and a good play by Adele Riedel to get it out to her. Yeah, because Adele was going down and caught her out of the corner of Rye, I think, and just got the ball to her. In the lane, Savannah Yost misses, goes for the rebound. Now Riedel has it, cuts in. Vitzdom a short jumper. That one is off the mark, no good. Another offensive rebound. Lady Monarchs will reset the offense. They hand it back to Aubrey Kenningsman. Now Vitzdom left wing. In the corner, Emily Shippers. Back to Aubrey. They get it to Vitzdom in the lane. Kayla surrounded to Riedel. Now on the baseline, Savannah Yost. Gifts it back to Adele, top of the key. Aubrey will take it. Emily Shippers left wing three on the way. Good, she hit it. The Lady Monarchs have three long balls. It's a four-point lead, 13-9. She was looking for the pass there. She was set and ready. Amold cut off by Kenningsman. McDaniel on the top side, drives, kicks it in the corner. Dwyer throws it around. Boy, Wellsville really likes those long passes. Amold off a screen, way off the mark. Rebound fought for, out of bounds, off of Wellsville. TMP basketball. Lady Monarch basketball brought to you by Steel Fabrications, Redeem Designs, Beaker Insurance, and by Hayes Chevrolet. Also by the dental office of Dr. Troy Halligan and Dr. Leighton Worth. Now accepting new patients. Call 628-2424 to make an appointment. Good luck to the TMP Lady Monarchs in the state tournament. Lady Monarchs up four, a minute 48 to play here in the first quarter. Inside to Vitzton, goes up, cannot score it, but she is fouled, and that will go against Maddie McCoy. Boy, nice bounce pass by Yost to get it to her. Good, strong move by... Vitz. Kayla to go to the line to shoot a pair. TMP up by four. First free throw for Kayla. Right through there. Nothing but net. Five points for Kayla. Three out of three from the free throw line. TMP up 14 to nine. Second free throw. No good. Rebound pulled down by Aubrey Ball, the 5'8 sophomore who checked in. TMP up by five. Hamold into the front court. Jillian Lowe at the scores table set to check back in. Boy, another near. Inside, shot up by Amel, no good. Rebound tipped out. That is going to be off of Yost. It will stay with Wellsville. But the Lady Eagles got away with a, a carry by Showalter. Not called, but officials apparently saying she had her hand on top of the basketball. TMP by 5, 14 to 9. Lady Monarchs have scored the last six points. Lady Eagles with it on the bounce. Now they're going to play it up to Showalter. Back to Dwyer. Into the lane. Cut off. Tough shot. Got it to go. Four points for Sydney Dwyer. 14 to 11. TMP by three. Now man to man by Wellsville. See how TMP will react to this one. Fitzham has it at the top of the key. Left wing. Kenningsman. Aubrey for three. That's off the mark. Rebound pulled down by McCoy, and then she lost it out of bounds. It's a turnover on the Lady Eagles. Good work. Hey, I, I can grab a basketball every now and then. Adam Kadavy, one of our radio buddies down the way, almost had it. Almost had it. So close. It's like the State Farm guy. So close. Lady Monarchs with the basketball, inbounding it with 54 seconds to go in the first quarter. Leading by a score of 14 to 11. TMP gets it in. Wellsville really not pressuring TMP much. Allie Newhouse into the lineup. Vitzdom looking for a screen. Drives in the corner to Jillian Lowe. Post up to Vitzdom. She's going to kick it up top to Aubrey. A three on the way. It's good. Aubrey Kenningsman with another three. 17 to 11. TMP by six with 30 seconds to go in the quarter. That ball is knocked out of bounds by Yost. One thing TMP is doing a really nice job, Dave, on transition defenses, getting back, getting to the baseline, and not allowing Wellsville to get right to the rim with an easy look. Uh, good, great point. They have defended the baseline even on just regular defensive sets as well. Long two on the way. That's off the mark, no good. Rebounded by Yost. Outlet pass to Vitzdom. On the run, TMP. Vitzdom bounce pass to Shippers. Off the glass, missed everything. 
Boy, a lot of pressure that time. Here comes Wellsville. Into the lane, shot up, good. Dwyer with six, 17 to 13. TMP with six seconds. They bring it into the front court. Kenningsman, a long three for Aubrey, missed it all out of bounds with .9 seconds left to go. Here in the first quarter, TMP up 17 to 13. Lady Monarch basketball brought to you by the Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau and GY Electric, and that is the end of the first quarter. After one quarter of play, your score, TMP 17, Wellsville 13. We are back in 60 seconds. This is Lady Monarch basketball. Classic Quality Body Shop has had the pleasure of serving this area since 1984. Much like a sports team, Shelton and his team have worked hard, grown together, and followed the playbook of taking care of customers to become one of the most highly regarded body shops in the area. Support your local team, whether on the field or when choosing who you do business with. Thank you, thank you for choosing the style of Classic Quality Body Shop. See their ad in the next tech directory. Good morning. Everyone in Hayes says you can clean anything, so can you get this tough stain out? Great jelly. We can get that out. Wow, you guys really are good. Master Cleaners in Hayes offers a variety of services including dry cleaning, alterations, laundry, tuxedo rentals, and free pickup and delivery. This is Eagle TV. TMP basketball, or excuse me, Wellsville basketball as we start the second quarter. TMP on top by score 17 to 13. Wellsville in the lane. That's going to be a travel. That's called against the Lady Eagles, their second turnover of the ball game. Back over to TMP. Here come the Lady Monarchs setting up left side Jillian Lowe. Bailey Lacey in, and she's going to get called for a Moving screen, a turnover on the Lady Monarchs. Bailey just moving when she set that screen and the official's right on top of it. Turnover, back over to Wellsville. So both teams with a couple of turnovers in the ball game and in this quarter. And there's another Wellsville turnover. Jillian Lowe with a basketball. Wellsville getting back defensively, Lowe. Looking inside, they'll swing it. Aubrey Kenningsman, the floor general for this ball club, does such a good job. Lacey, right side to Aubrey, inside to Kayla, knocked out of bounds. It will stay with TMP. I mean, this lady just is cool under pressure. I don't know if she gets that from mom or dad. Joe K is pretty cool under pressure, too. In the lane, Vitstam goes up strong, can't score it, gets her own rebound. Kicks it out, Kittingsman will track it down for the Lady Monarchs. Goes against the pressure and will reset things. Well, what an effort by Kayla Vitstam to get it back out there. Low, gets it to Lacey, looking inside. Now on the left side, Kittingsman. Vitstam, baseline jumper for her, it rattles off, no good. Lacey with the rebound off the glass and in. Bailey Lacey with her first two, 19 to 13. TMP by six. And how many times have we seen Bailey come in and have an instant impact? And a turnover on the other end by Wellsville. We talked about that baseline defense by TMP. Wellsville trying to get it down there, and the Lady Monarchs cut it off, and stepping out of bounds was Dwyer. It's back over to TMP. Yeah, they just continue to get their feet on that set on the line and making it hard. Important possession here. Lady Monarchs with the six-point lead. Pick and roll stolen. Where that pass was tipped, third turnover on TMP. Lady Eagles up the floor in the lane. McCoy kicks it out top. A three on the way. Good. That three by Sydney Dwyer. She has nine. That was a big one. It's a three-point ball game. 19 to 16. Lady Monarchs coming up on six minutes to play. And there's another steal. TMP turns it over again. Here comes Wel Wellsville. Amold with the basketball. She's going to skip it around on the far side to Dwyer. She's averaging 16.6 points a ball game. Drives in the lane. Floater. It is no good. Rebound. Tipped out of bounds off of TMP. 
Bitsum couldn't get it, and, and Lacey couldn't hang on to it, and it's out of bounds as Emily Shippers and Savannah Yost check back in. Adele Riedel, Bailey Lacey take a seat on the Lady Monarch bench. Also in for TMP for the first time is Kylie Allen, the 5'7 freshman, has played some good postseason minutes for Rose McFarland. There's the deep inbounds. It comes to Newhouse. On the right side, Amel, guarded by Kenningsman. There's a long three up, short. Rebound tipped out, and it is TMP basketball. Play Aubrey Kenningsman strong on that box, out to come away with it for the Lady Monarchs. Vitstam, Yost, Allen, Shippers, Kenningsman for TMP. Savannah topside, left side to Allen, gets it to Vitstam. She can shoot that shot on the way for three, in and out, no good. Rebound by McDaniel. Boy, that one was halfway down and then spun out. 5-10 to play here in the first half. Wellsville basketball, Newhouse on the baseline, and she is fouled. Who is going to be called for that one? That is going to be against Savannah Yost. That's her first. Back over, or it stays with Wellsville. 5 6 to play. First half, TMP on top, 19-16. To Lady Eagle inbound, looking in deep. They are going to find Newhouse. Guarded by Allen. Now in the corner, you have to watch out for Dwyer. Not very tall, but she is active, and they're going to call a foul on Allen. No, they're going to call that on Kenningsman. They call that on Aubrey Kenningsman, and that is her second. And that is a big one. Rose McFarland is going to have to get Jillian Lowe off the bench. That is a huge foul on TMP's Aubrey Kenningsman. Well, Lady Monarchs will see how they react with Aubrey on the sideline. Again, I just talked about how she's that floor general. On the top of the key, Showalter drives the lane off the glass. No good. Rebounded by Yost. Outlet pass to Jillian Lowe, and she's going to have to slow things up a little bit. Good decision right there. Yep. That pass didn't have quite the mustard on it. Kylie Allen looking. Gets it to Bitsum, top of the key, left side to Jillian Lowe. She looks underneath. Now Jillian with the right hand to dribble. Shippers. Top of the key three, way off the mark. Rebound pulled out of there by Showalter. One and done for the Lady Monarchs. And here's steal by Allen. Here, excuse me, Dwyer with the basketball. 4.20 to play in the first half. TMP with a three-point lead. Amel. Now Showalter with the basketball. Amel for the tie. A long three off the mark. Rebound pot four. Tipped out of bounds. It is going to be off of TMP. That's the right call. Vitston was the last to touch it. McDaniel coming back in. McCoy back for Wellsville. 4.08 to play here in the first half. TMP on top 19 to 16. Lady Monarchs have led by as many as six a couple of times. Wellsville inbound. McCoy plays it in deep to Newhouse. Now McDaniel drives into the lane. Floats it up. Can't score it. Rebound pulled down. Who's going to have it? It is TMP basketball as Savannah Yost tracks it down. And what's the call? We're going to have a timeout, a 30-second timeout by Rose McFarland. Lady Monarch basketball brought to you by Gibbs Auto Supply, your local Napa Auto Parts store. Proudly wishing the TMP Monarchs the best of luck. Gibbs Auto Supply and Napa, a winning combination. Also brought to you by Classic Quality Body Shop, Coldwell Banker Executive Realty, Bernie's Hamburger House, and Eagle Communications. Our community connected. Dave Barber. 3.57 to play, kind of the ball game we expected. It's, you don't expect any one of them to really get out with the big lead because both of these teams with some leadership and some really talented young ladies on the floor. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good matchup so far. And expect it to continue. TMP basketball out of the timeout. Shippers, Lowe, Riedel, Yost, Vitstam. Wellsville on defense, going man-to-man -man against the Lady Monarchs. Riedel gets it in the lane to Bitstam. Now Yost on the baseline on the deflection. Shippers left wing, a long three for Emily. It rims off, almost falls in. Yost clears the board, kicks it back out to Shippers. Now Bitstam, we'll see if she drives the lane. She will. To the rim, no, gets a rebound. Goes back up, she is fouled. Boy, right. the motor never stops running on number 35. <laughs> That's just sticking to it and staying with it. it it's Fortunately, she couldn't get it up, but she was fouled so hard. Still going strong. 
Two free throws for Vince. First one on the way. It's good. McCoy called for the foul. That's her second. Kayla, four out of five from the free throw line. She has six points. 20 to 16, TMP by four with 3.31 to play in the first half. The 5'10 senior steps to the line. Going to go just south of here. Second free throw off the mark, rebounded by McDaniel. 20 to 16, Lady Monarchs by four. Where's Kayla just south of here at Kansas Newman University? He's going to play some volleyball for the Jets. McDaniel at the free throw line nearly had it knocked away. Shot up and good. Paige McDaniel with seven. 20 to 18, TMP by two with 3.08 to play here in the first half. Important stretch here for the Lady Monarchs. Lowe plays it far outside on the left wing to Riedel. Now Yost and an offensive foul inside on TMP. And I believe that's on Jillian Lowe. And that is Jillian's first. 16 foul against Lady Monarchs. 20 to 18 with 2.59 to play here at the Sports Arena in Hutchinson. First half. Lady Eagles will make a play call. TMP showing a bit of a 3-2 matchup zone. See how Wellsville reacts to it. Looked like they were somewhat ready for it. There's a Vitzdom steal. Kayla is going to go coast to coast. Plays it up to Jillian Lowe. Her layup is good. The turnover turns into points for TMP. That's five for Lowe. What a great catch on the break and finish by Lowe. There's Jillian with the steal. She's going to try and go the other way. Falls down, kicks the ball, and it is going to be Wellsville basketball. She was just a few days ahead of soccer practice with that one. <laughs> Which actually you can't do that in soccer either. You can't lay on the ground and try and kick the ball. So both teams turn it over. Both teams with six turnovers in the ball game. There's McDaniel with another jumper. Off the glass, no good. Riedel tries to get the rebound. McCoy will have it. Now it's stolen by Lowe, but a foul on her, and that's her second personal. Rose McFarland says you're going to have to stay in. Nope. Kylie Allen, the freshman. She will give Lowe a break, so most likely... That will put Adele Riedel. It'll be a one-and-one one for McCoy, a 79% free throw shooter. It just shows you, though, how valuable were those minutes Allen got through the postseason here. Free throw by McCoy, first one up, no good. Rebounded by Riedel. Adele strong with the board. Up the floor to Vistam. Kayla into the front court with it. She's going to drive to the rim. Shot up, no good, but she is fouled, and she will go to the line to shoot two more. Yo, keep doing it. <laughs> keep attacking. She can make her living at the line tonight. That foul on Paige McDaniel, her first. Kayla's six points, free throw up, good. Seven points for Kayla Vinston. TMP by five, 23 to 18 with 2.05 to play in the first half. Second free throw for Vinston. Boy, off the mark, rebound, fought four, tipped out. Savannah Yost with it. For the Lady Monarchs, skips it up top to Allen, right side Riedel, her three on the way. It is good! Adele Riedel buries one from distance. Her first points of the ball game, TMP, their largest lead, 26-18, timeout Wellsville. 153 to play, we'll keep it right here, a huge three by Adele Riedel. And give credit to Savannah Yost, tracking that rebound down, Dave Barber. Finding the open player, and Riedel finishes it. Yeah, keeping, keeping the possession alive with Hustle and finding Riedel wide open. And she has been, you talked about a spark plug ever since she came in, but uh, she's hit some awful big shots for this Monarch team, and there was another one. TMP basketball brought to you in part by High Plains Farm Credit, your local member-owned cooperative specializing in ag lending with six area offices. High Plains offers operating cattle, equipment, and real estate loans at competitive rates and flexible terms. High Plains Farm Credit, proud of our area team. So, Lady Monarchs by 8, 26 to 18. Boy, you'd love to see them add to this a little bit. You don't want to see Wells, they'll get any momentum coming back here in this late in this second quarter. And no, it is, you want to, want to keep, them, keep them at arm's length and extend right now. Out of the timeout, TMP will have Allen, Riedel, Shippers, Vitzdom, Yost, 
on the bench for TMP in foul trouble. Aubrey Kenningsman and Jillian Lowe both with two. Amold, McCoy, Showalter, also Dwyer out there. Amold left open a three on the way for the answer. No good. Rebound tracked down long by Vidstam. Kayla looks up the floor to Yost who makes the catch. Boy, it takes an athlete to make that play, and it's knocked out of bounds by Wellsville. It will stay with TMP. If Wellsville's coach thought that went off of Yost. <laughs> but right. we got the ball. Brock Campbell in his sixth year here at Wellsville. Emily Shippers on the inbound. Plays it in to Adele Riedel. Almost took too long. Lady Monarchs with it. A minute and a half to play in the first half, leading 26 to 18. Allen on the outside. Bits him off of the screen at the top of the key. She'll drive. Plays it to Yost. Now topside Riedel, who hit a big three just a moment ago. Well, you hear Kayla Vitzdom out there saying, do something. Goes inside. She scores two more. And that was something. Nine <laughs> for Kayla Vitzdom, 28 to 18. TMP a double-digit lead. Wellsville basketball. McDaniel nearly walked with it. Into the lane. Tough leaner. That one's no good. Rebounded by Riedel. Adele will let get out of some traffic with 57 seconds to go in the half. And TMP on top by 10. Riedel into the front court. She'll pass it off to Kayla Bitson. We'll see if TMP will go for the final shot. Rose McFarland says yes. We'll see if McDaniel comes out to cover her. She does. And then we'll back it off. Back to Riedel on the right wing with 37 seconds here at the Sports Arena in Hutchinson. Riedel drives in on the baseline, bounces it to Savannah Yost. Savannah with that smile <laughs> on her face. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, love it. <laughs> love it. And Kayla says, I'll take it from here with 20 seconds on the clock. McDaniel will come out and pressure her. Now Vitzdom has a count on her. Now she's going to have to watch out. Picks up her dribble in a really tough place and will take a timeout. Nothing wrong with that. That'll leave TMP with three in here in the second half unless they have to take another one here, which you wouldn't think. But Lady Monarchs up by 10 right now. They've outscored Wellsville 11-5 to here in this second quarter, Dave Barber. And the big part about this, Aubrey Kenningsman and Jillian Lowe have been sitting on the bench for the last three minutes. And we've talked about depth. We've talked about balance. They just replaced and just kept on going. That's, uh, it's, just, it's just so fun to see the contribution coming from everywhere. And we talk about the little things. Adele Riedel, not the biggest player on the floor out there by any means, but she, you see her down there scrapping for rebounds and, and the, contributing to the team in those ways and hitting a big three and all of them, you know, Savannah doing her thing, and Adams coming off the bench, just solid minutes. Allen. Allen, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, Adams, we have an Adams? <laughs> Allen. Inbounds for Vitzdom. Gets it to Kylie Allen with 10. She'll dribble. Looking for Vitzdom. Allen to the lane. Plays it to Yost through her hands oh, and out of bounds. Oh, man, that was a that. good look, but just a little bit behind her. Yeah. 5.6 seconds left to go. Amel. Into the front court, plays it up the floor. On the baseline, it's knocked away by Savannah Yost with .1 seconds left to go. The only thing that Wellsville could do is get a tip at the rim. That is it. You do not have time to catch and shoot with .1 seconds left to go. They're going to look to throw it in. That you can't do, and it's a turnover stolen by TMP. The Lady Monarchs get the steal. At halftime, TMP 28, Wellsville 18. We'll be back with more from the Sports Arena in Hutchinson. This is Lady Monarch Basketball. Find the best in parts and auto accessories at Gibbs Auto Supply, your local Napa store. Classic quality body shop. Convenient direct repair with expert body work. Versatile car rentals and easy scheduling. Come see Shelton and the team. Bernie's Hamburger House. Feed yourself or the whole team with great burgers, milkshakes, and the award-winning onion rings. And by Eagle Communications. Catch all of this year's March Madness games in high definition with Eagle's HD TV package. Call 877-61-EAGLE to sign up today. Eagle Communications. Our community connected. This postseason basketball broadcast is brought to you by Cross Manufacturing. Looking for a few good people to join our team? Apply today and count on durable hydraulics from Cross. Thomas More Prep Marion. 
worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. Walmart Superstore, save money, live better, Walmart. Bacon Rhine Appraising Services, they are certified to provide appraisals for your next transaction. Swift Services, Ted and Shelley Fuchs, proud to support Hayes High and TMP. Home Steel Siding and Windows, making your home or business beautiful, energy efficient, and comfortable. Next Tech Wireless, avid supporters of local schools. Are you ready for something different? See Next Tech Wireless. Lifetime Dental Care. See Dr. Jeffrey Lowe and the team at Lifetime Dental Care for stress-free dentistry. Steel Fabrications, the Iron Men of Western Kansas. Redeem Designs, screen print, embroidery, design, where you'll find better ideas, better designs, better people. Come experience the best at 2204 Vine and Hayes. Beaker Insurance, delivering quality insurance solutions. Hayes Chevrolet, they love to do business with a smile and a handshake. GY Electric, Greg and Candace Yost, wishing everyone good luck in the postseason. Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau, wishing the Hayes High Indians and the TMP Monarchs good luck. Coldwell Banker Executive Realty, they believe there is nothing more powerful or more important than a home. Call or stop by today for all of your real estate needs. Gibbs Auto Supply, find the best in parts and auto accessories at Gibbs Auto Supply, your local Napa store. Classic Quality Body Shop, convenient direct repair with expert body work, versatile car rentals, and easy scheduling. Come see Shelton and the team. Vernie's Hamburger House, feed yourself or the whole team with great burgers, milkshakes, and the award-winning onion rings. And by Eagle Communications, catch all of this year's March Madness games in high definition with Eagle's HD TV package. Call 877-61-EAGLE to sign up today. Eagle Communications, our community connected. This postseason basketball broadcast is brought to you by Cross Manufacturing. Looking for a few good people to join our team? Apply today and count on durable hydraulics from Cross. Thomas More Prep Marion, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. Walmart Superstore, save money, live better, Walmart. Bacon Rhine Appraising Services, they are certified to provide appraisals for your next transaction. Swift Services, Ted and Shelley Fuchs, proud to support Hayes High and TMP. Home Steel Siding and Windows, making your home or business beautiful, energy efficient, and comfortable. Next Tech Wireless, avid supporters of local schools. Are you ready for something different? See Next Tech Wireless. Lifetime Dental Care, see Dr. Jeffrey Lowe and the team at Lifetime Dental Care for stress-free dentistry. Steel Fabrications, the Iron Men of Western Kansas. Redeem Designs, screen print, embroidery, design, where you'll find better ideas, better designs, better people. Come experience the best at 2204 Vine and Hayes. Beaker Insurance, delivering quality insurance solutions. Hayes Chevrolet, they love to do business with a smile and a handshake. GY Electric, Greg and Candace Yost, wishing everyone good luck in the postseason. Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau, wishing the Hayes High Indians and the TMP Monarchs good luck. Coldwell Banker Executive Realty, they believe there is nothing more powerful or more important than a home. Call or stop by today for all of your real estate needs. Gibbs Auto Supply, find the best in parts and auto accessories at Gibbs Auto Supply, your local Napa store. Classic Quality Body Shop, convenient direct repair with expert body work, versatile car rentals, and easy scheduling. Come see Shelton and the team. Vernie's Hamburger House, feed yourself or the whole team with great burgers, milkshakes, and the award-winning onion rings. 
and by Eagle Communications. Catch all of this year's March Madness games in high definition with Eagle's HD TV package. Call 877-61-EAGLE to sign up today. Eagle Communications, our community connected. This postseason basketball broadcast is brought to you by Cross Manufacturing. Looking for a few good people to join our team? Apply today and count on durable hydraulics from Cross. Thomas More Prep Marion, worlds of opportunity, investing for eternity. Walmart Superstore, save money, live better, Walmart. Bacon Rhine Appraising Services, they are certified to provide appraisals for your next transaction. Swift Services, Ted and Shelley Fuchs, proud to support Hayes High and TMP. Home Steel Siding and Windows, making your home or business beautiful, energy efficient, and comfortable. Next Tech Wireless, avid supporters of local schools. Are you ready for something different? See Next Tech Wireless. Lifetime Dental Care, see Dr. Jeffrey Lowe and the team at Lifetime Dental Care for stress-free dentistry. Steel Fabrications, the Iron Men of Western Kansas. Redeem Designs, screen print, embroidery, design, where you'll find better ideas, better designs, better people. Come experience the best at 2204 Vine and Hayes. Beaker Insurance, delivering quality insurance solutions. Hayes Chevrolet, they love to do business with a smile and a handshake. GY Electric, Greg and Candace Yost, wishing everyone good luck in the postseason. Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau, wishing the Hayes High Indians and the TMP Monarchs good luck. Coldwell Banker Executive Realty, they believe there is nothing more powerful or more important than a home. Call or stop by today for all of your real estate needs. Gibbs Auto Supply. Find the best in parts and auto accessories at Gibbs Auto Supply, your local Napa store. Classic Quality Body Shop. Convenient direct repair with expert body work. Versatile car rentals and easy scheduling. Come see Shelton and the team. Bernie's Hamburger House. Feed yourself or the whole team with great burgers, milkshakes, and the award-winning onion rings. And by Eagle Communications, catch all of this year's March Madness games in high definition with Eagle's HD TV package. Call 877-61-EAGLE to sign up today. Eagle Communications, our community connected. This postseason basketball... Welcome back to the Sports Arena in Hutchinson at halftime. TMP on top by a score of 28 to 18. Lady Monarchs will have the basketball to start the second half. Jillian Lowe, along with Aubrey Kenningsman. And we just got knuckles from Jillian. Hey, I'll here? tell you what, does the kid always have a smile on her face? Well, yeah. Not when she got that second foul. She did not have a <laughs> smile on her face then, but right there she does. TMP will inbound it. Lowe gets it into Kenningsman. Aubrey and Jillian set about the final three minutes of that first half, Dave Barber. We'll see how TMP adjusts a near turnover. It's on the floor, and we're going to have a jump ball. It is a Lady Monarch turnover. That's not how you want to start the second half. No. Nope. Bitstrom came out to the top of the key, and that pass just got tipped, and then Kayla couldn't <laughs> grab onto it. And yeah, you got to you got to go after things strong because this this scrappy team here, they're getting their hands in there any chance they get. On the right side, Dwyer with the basketball. Showalter in the lane, out to McCoy. Back to Showalter, TMP. There's a three-pointer for Dwyer. It's no good. Rebound. Another one by Savannah Yost. That ball is loose, and it's TMP basketball. Vitzdom up the floor for the Lady Monarchs. Pops underneath low. Pump fake. Shot no, but a foul is going to be called on McDaniel. The beautiful use of the shot fake 
and the Lady Monarchs will go to the line to shoot a pair. Boy, just a great job of getting the defense off their feet. And these ladies mean business tonight. Well, two free throws for low, first one no good. Dad is over in the stands, stoic as usual. Mom right now can't look. Second free throw for Jillian. That one's out and no good as well. Wellsville dodges a little bit of a trouble spot there. On the right corner, Dwyer with a basketball. On the bounce, picked up by Lowe. Skip pass to McCoy. They're going to look underneath. Now in the corner, Amold with the ball. She'll dribble drive. Goes inside and a foul is going to be called against TMP. And that's going to go against Kayla Bitston. That's her first. Well, again, that, not, evidently not going to go away from it. Just looking to drive that baseline. And dive down. Or see somebody open for three. There's McCoy who will get the long inbound. Top of the key. Show Walter. Skip pass. Amel. Feet set. Three. No good. Rebound pulled down by Vitstam. Kayla. Let some of the traffic clear now. She'll give it off to Aubrey who brings it right to left here in this second half at the sports arena. Low on the bounce. Nearly had it stolen and she is going to be fouled by Amel. Who looks at the official like what? That's a tough, tough play. Even if it's not a foul, typically when somebody reaches over and swipes down from behind, they're going to get the foul call. Yeah, slapping at it a little bit. Rose McFarland is something is not right. I'm not sure what it is. So we're going to see what... Uh, what the deal is. Rose still isn't happy about something. I'm not sure what it is. 6.45 to play here in the third quarter. TMP up 28 to 18. So you want to talk about a competitor? Yeah. She might be one of the sweetest ladies in the world, but you get Rose McFarland in the middle of a big game. She's like David Banner on the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> she just too, turns. Too many gamma rays? <laughs> Something. <laughs> or whatever it is. Kenningsman with the inbound. Needs to get it in. Does get it to Yost at the end of that five-second call. Lady Monarchs will set offense. Amold got the foul just a little bit ago. Kenningsman on the outside for TMP. Amold will come out and pick her up defensively. Aubrey backs back out near the half-court stripe. Now Amel picks her up again. Vitz him on the outside. McCoy gets the defense. Now Vitz will drive in. Elbow jumper. No good. Rebound pulled out of there by McDaniel. Vitz him tries to get the steal, but Wellsville will control left to right. In a little bit of a dry spot here. Dwyer, baseline. Block is going to be called against Jillian Lowe. That's her third. Jillian just not quite there in time. I think she could have been set, but I think she kind of almost turned anticipating the contact. <laughs> That is the third foul against Jillian. Two free throws for Dwyer, 67% from the line. First one up and good. First point of the second half for either team. 6-13 to play here in the third quarter. Team P up by nine, 28-19. Second free throw for Dwyer on the way. That one's no good. Another Savannah Yost rebound. She has been absolutely amazing on the boards tonight. Anything that's been in her area, she has went and got it. That is something TMP has looked for her all, out of her all year long, and they are getting it. Now Yost has the ball on the elbow. Back to Aubrey Kenningsman with 5.52 to go. Here in the third, 28-19, TMP by nine. Bitstam inside off the glass, can't get it to go. McDaniel with the rebound for Wellsville. Lady Eagles will push it. Dwyer into the lane, lost it, nearly walked with it. Now McCoy on the baseline. Looks, gets it to Showalter. Plays in the corner of McDaniel. She can shoot that shot. We saw her hit a backup three in the first half. Showalter on the baseline. She stepped out of bounds, but it was knocked out of bounds before it went that way. Anna Gottschalk will check in now for TMP and give Kayla Vitzdom just a little bit of a rest with 5.26 to play here in the third quarter, and TMP up 28-19. There's a three on the way. Short. Rebound comes down long to Dwyer. Those are tough to track down. Riedel with the defense. Amel might have walked with it into the lane. Floater, no good. Yost 
with the rebound for TMP, and a foul is going to be called on Wellsville. It seems like tonight when I've said balls off the rim, Savannah Yost's name has come pretty quickly after that. Yeah, it, she is hustling. Man, that's just hustle and want to. Lady Eagles are going to show some pressure. TMP, no problems beating it, and then they throw it away on the other end. Boy, Reed will probably should have backed that one out or tried with a bounce pass. Dwyer plays it to Amold in the corner. McCoy steps into a three ball. That one's no good. Rebound by Showalter. Back to McCoy in the corner. She'll dribble drive. Cut off. It's stolen by Riedel. And then she is fouled. Not they're going to call a jump ball, but it's still a Wellsville turnover. Back to TMP with 4.47 to play in the third. And Kayla Vitzdom back in for TMP as Anna Gottschalk will go to the bench. Again, full court pressure by Wellsville. Monarchs kind of need a basket. Haven't had one they for have a while. Not, they have not scored in the second half. That ball is caught by Vitzdom. She'll drive into the lane, goes inside, goes off the glass, can't score it, but she is fouled. That is so hard to guard. So hard to guard because she can stick the jumper or she can take it to the rim. Well, and she also knows how to kind of avoid the contact with the just a nice move at the rim. And the free throw is no good. Boy, Kayla just struggling from the line right now has missed her last two. TMP up 28 to 19 scoreless in the first three minutes and 26 seconds of this third quarter. Trying to give TMP back that 10 point lead, knocks that one in. Double digits for Kayla, she has 10, 29 to 19. Both teams have hit a free throw here in the second half defense is reigning supreme right now. Showalter in the lane, lost it, plays it off to McDaniel for the layup. Nine for McDaniel. 29-21. Lady Monarchs will break the pressure. Vitzdom into the front court. Goes inside to Yost. Her layup is good. Kayla Vitzdom to Savannah Yost. Her first two. 31-21 Lady Monarchs. First field goal of the second half. Shot no good. Yes, Outlet sir. pass. <laughs> TMP will... Set things up, and a foul is going to be called on Wellsville, and Demi Amel, the sophomore, is getting very frustrated right now. Yeah, every every time the whistle blows, she has a, something to say, it seems like. And she's going to come take a seat on the bench. Lady Monarchs with the basketball, up by 10, 3.55 to play in the third quarter. Vitzdom on the elbow, drives inside, goes up, scores it, and a foul! Kayla will go to the line for an old-fashioned three-point play. That will go against McDaniel, and that's her third. 33-21, Lady Monarchs, their largest lead of the ball game. Vitzdom at the line for the three-point play. She knocks it in. Kayla with 13, 34-21, TMP by 13. Dwyer on the outside, picked up by Adele Riedel. Now McDaniel with the basketball, swings it far left side to McCoy. Boy, Riedel thought she might have an angle for that steal. A drive in, Newhouse lost it, and then out of bounds. It is going to be off of Wellsville. A turnover on the Lady Eagles. It goes back over to TMP. Big opportunity for the Lady Monarchs right now. Grace Showalter back in to replace McDaniel. Full court pressure by Wellsville. TMP just seems to know how to handle it. Emily Shippers on the bounce for the Lady Monarchs. Crosses over some traffic. Plays it to Yost. Short baseline jumper. Good. Savannah Yost with two more. She has four. 36-21. Timeout Wellsville. Timeout Lady Eagles TMP. A 15-point lead with 3.18 to play here in the third quarter. Lady Monarch basketball brought to you by Perftech Wireline Services. Owners Bill and Brenda Klaus are proud supporters of the TMP Monarchs in all activities. For logging and perforating, three-point and back off, and Kindly Sandline Cutters, call 623-3969. Perftech Wireline Services in Hayes. And by the Romy Insurance Agency. Insurance for your every need in Hayes and Ellis. Auto Home Farm Business Insurance. Call on Daryl at Romy Insurance Agency at 625-5674. Romy Insurance Agency, proud to support 
the area youth. Also brought to you by Gibbs Auto Supply, Cross Manufacturing, Swift Services, Steel Fabrications, GY Electric, Bank and Ride Appraising Services, Lifetime Dental Care, Hayes Chevrolet, and Vernie's Hamburger House. Boy, what a run right now by TMP, Dave. We started hammering on them that they haven't scored in the second half, and they said, okay, <laughs> I see here we haven't scored in the second half, and they've went on an 8-2 to two run to extend their lead to 15. Yeah, they come and they, they do that. They've been through some dry spells this season, but always seem to come out of it. We'll see what Wellsville has outside out of the timeout. It's a bit some steal. Kayla with the steal goes coast to coast. Pump fake layup. It's good. That's two more for Kayla. She has 15. The Lady Monarchs by 17. 38 to 21. There's a long three, looking for an answer. Air ball, rebound, put back, shot block. Rebound by Vitstam. On the outlet, throws it up to Adele Riedel. Adele into the lane, shot up, no, but an offensive foul is called on Adele. Her first personal, 10th turnover on the Lady Monarchs. I think she just stopped a little bit late. She had the right idea, but Wellsville with good defense in position there. TMP had a 10-point lead at the half. They've extended it to 17 with 2.46 to play here in the third quarter. Emily Shippers will take a seat. Jillian Lowe back for TMP. Lady Monarchs very effective defensively. Dwyer drives inside, gets to the lane, floats it up, can't score it, rebound, ripped down by Vitstam. Boy, Kayla so strong with that basketball. Brings it into the front court on the left side with the basketball. Now we'll get it to the floor, General Kenningsman. Left side low. <laughs> Looking for that dump down. Kayla says no, it's not there. Kenningsman right side. Now she's going to look inside. Riedel, top side three on the way for Adele. Rims off, no good. Rebound pulled down by McDaniel. One and done on that trip for TMP. 2.13 to play in the third. Lady Monarchs by 17. On the bounce. Wellsville, Amel to three, it's on the way, it's no good. Long rebound is going to be out of bounds and two TMP and Paige McDaniel went after that basketball and she went slamming into the scorer's table over on the far side and she is hurt. Oh, oh man, what an effort by Paige McDaniel. And she was just to the left of the Wellsville bench and McDaniel is down and holding her knee, which you don't like to see. That is never any fun. Lady Monarch basketball brought to you by oil and gas renditions.com. Owner Travis Rosine cheering on the Lady Monarchs on their road to the state championship. Oil and gas renditions.com always supporting area youth. And Dave Barber, man, what a hustle play as Adele Riedel had kind of boxed everybody out as that ball was heading out of bounds after the missed three-pointer. And McDaniel, the 5'10 junior, showing the heart of a state championship type basketball team and state tournament basketball team just went crashing in and punished the scorer's table. And now she's still laying down right now as she's being attended to by the athletic training staff. Your score right now, two minutes to play, TMP up 38 to 21. And McDaniel still down over there on the far side here at the Hutchinson Sports Arena. Lady Monarch basketball brought to you in part by Thomas Moore Prep Marion, Walmart, Home Steel Siding and Windows, Next Tech Wireless, Redeem Designs, Beaker Insurance, Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau, Coldwell Banker Executive Realty, Gibbs Auto Supply, Classic Quality Body Shop, and by Eagle Communications, our community connected. Also, this is the Midwest Energy Road to the Championship. Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative, making energy work for you. McDaniel now sitting up, and uh, that's good to see, but obviously in a lot of pain. So I don't know. It looks like she might have cut, cut the knee, got a cut on that knee, and that is painful in and of itself. No, uh, you, you, She was all out hustle. I mean, that's all it was because Adele Riedel was making a smart play by slowing down and keeping people from getting to the ball. And right now, McDaniel's still down but sitting up. They're looking to uh, get her up off the floor right here. 
And I tell you what, the head coach Brock Campbell for Wellsville was right there. And uh, McDaniels was attended to by him very, very quickly. And I tell you what, I want to give uh, Brock Cam Campbell some kudos because many times when we request information on a team, we, we might get a little blurb. We might get something. But I'll tell you what, I got everything from Brock Campbell up to their favorite foods. <laughs> I mean, I... I and as a media member, we appreciate that because so it, it allows us to get some insight on Wellsville and to represent them other than a name and a number. Yep, yep, much appreciated. So officials say we're ready to play. Steve Carpenter with the uh, Hutchinson Community College has said, man, my, my scorer's table, table took, a, took a beating there, and he's getting everything set, and I think we're ready to play. Basketball, Lowe will inbound it. Kenningsman, Riedel, Lowe, Bitstam, Yost. For TMP, Newhouse, Showalter, Dwyer, Ball. And Amold for Wellsville. TMP up by 17 with the basketball. Top side, Bitstam. Left side by for Adele Riedel. Adele, a right-handed bounce between the circles now to Aubrey Kenningsman. On the right side, Jillian Lowe. Jillian plays it up top to Savannah Yost. Now they're going to hand it off to Aubrey Kenningsman and TMP taking some time off the clock right now. Boy, we saw the Phillipsburg Panthers do this to the TMP boys last night. And uh, some people don't like it, but he who has the gold, otherwise he who has the lead can make the rules right now. <laughs> Absolutely. Lowe had it stolen away. Turnover. Going the other way, Dwyer nearly missed the layup, but got it to go. She has 12. 38-23. Do not want TMP to get complacent right here, though, because all they have to do is go exhibit A and look at the TMP boys' sub-state championship game against Ellsworth last Saturday. Bitstam on the left wing, guarded by Showalter. Kayla will take it on the bounce between the circles, looking for some help. Still looking for some help, plays it to low. Jillian gets it to Aubrey Kenningsman with 35 seconds to go in the third quarter. Oh, Wellsville well. putting some of that pressure out there. Yeah, really extending their defense. Now Bitstam with the basketball. We'll see if she tries to go off the dribble. They play it back to Jillian low. Dwyer will fight through a screen. Jillian gets a screen. And a nice one from Aubrey Kenningsman. Boy, Jason Colley could have used that this year. <laughs> <laughs> that was a screen. Top side, Riedel for three. On the way, no good. Rebound, fought for. Knocked away. Vitzman has it. Saves it in. Riedel with it. Has it knocked away. In some trouble. And what do we have? A jump ball possession will go to Wellsville. But that could play out in TMP's favor. And with 1.7 seconds, Wellsville, not a whole lot of time. they got to go the length of the floor to get a shot. And that means TMP will get the basketball to start the fourth quarter. Yeah, probably turn out in their favor. Inbound comes in, a heave for Dwyer. That's not even close, and we are at the end of the third quarter. The TMP Lady Monarchs looking to move on to the state semifinals. They lead 38-23. We're back with your fourth quarter in 60 seconds. This is Lady Monarch basketball. Lifetime Dental Care is devoted to helping you, your family, and friends achieve your healthiest and brightest smile. They are now accepting new patients. Call 625-7969 to schedule your appointment. They know every person's dental needs are unique, and that is why they offer you a comprehensive selection of treatment options in a comfortable and caring atmosphere. Dr. Lowe and his dental team want you to enjoy your visit. Lifetime Dental Care, accepting new patients. Call 625-7969 or see them at LifetimeDentalCare.com. Hi, I'm Gary Shorman, President and CEO of Eagle Communications, a 100% employee-owned company. I'd like to personally thank you for selecting Eagle for your internet, television, and telephone service. By choosing Eagle, you're choosing to keep your dollars local with a company that reinvests back in your community. Let's make this a great year for your community. Check us out at EagleCom.net. Eagle Communications, our community connected. is Eagle TV. Lady Monarch basketball as we start the fourth quarter. TMP up 38 to 23. 
Yost plays it to Vitzem at the free throw line. She'll go to the rim, lay it up, can't hit it. Rebound Jillian low. She is fouled and will go to the line to shoot two. Boy, Jillian just shot down that lane with Kayla drawing all that attention, Dave, and there was nobody there until after the rebound. Yeah, when you see the, the defense collapse like that here on that backside, that's what you do because there's going to be a loose ball if they don't go in. Jillian's free throw is good. She has six. One out of three from the free throw line. Team P up by 16, 39 to 23. Second free throw for low, short. Rebound, hot four. It is Wellsville basketball. Thought so, Yost was going to keep another one alive. Yep, 39 23. Wellsville, not a lot of room for error left for the Lady Eagles. Newhouse off the screen, stolen by low. Jillian gets the steal and says, nope, we're going to settle things down. That is an upperclassman for you right there. Yep, good. Another smart play for the Lady Monarchs. Bits them backside low. Jillian's layup is good. Jillian low with eight. The Lady Monarchs, their largest lead, 41 to 23. TMP by 18, 7.07 to play. Dwyer a long three on the other end. Good, she hits it. That's 15 for Dwyer, 41-26. The TMP lead is 15. Boy, she shot that one from way outside the arc. You will give up some shots. That one I would. Yep, and we're going to have a foul inside called on Showalter. That's her fourth. She was trying to keep Caleb Vitzdom off of the block and just a tough matchup for her. And Kayla will go to the line to shoot a one and one for TMP. She has had Kayla the whole night and has done pretty well yeah, against uh, her. Yeah, you gotta respect her effort. Free throw, no good. Rebound tipped out of bounds by TMP. <laughs> Kayla normally a pretty uh, reliable free throw shooter, and this is good to see. Paige McDaniel back in the lineup for Wellsville. The 5'10 junior. Boy, Aubrey tried to get the steal. Amel plays it right side to Dwyer. Long three on the way. It is no good. Rebounded by Vitstam. Kayla in a little bit of trouble. Plays it up the floor to Emily Shippers. Emily will back it back out. Gets it to Kayla. Drives in the lane. Plays it off the glass. Couldn't get it to go. Rebound by Ball. Here comes Wellsville. Down by 15. 6.25 to play. Amel. Inside, shot up. That is no call, but an offensive foul. They finally call it. Yeah, boy, it took forever for that whistle. But I guess you'd rather make sure of the call because Savannah Yost had not only gotten to her spot, she she'd set up her her mailing fire, address. Build a fire. Camp was set. Full court pressure. Low throws it to Aubrey Kittingsman. Aubrey behind the back gets by Dwyer. Into the front court, a 15-point Lady Monarch lead. 6.05 to play here in the third quarter, and a foul outside on McCoy. That is her third. It will be a one-and-one one for Jillian Lowe. <laughs> the officials in the stands not happy behind us. That's frustrating. One and one for Lowe. Actually, two free throws for Jillian. And she makes the first one. It's a double bonus. She has nine. TMP back up by 16, 42 to 26. Second free throw. A high arcer goes in. So Jillian hits both. She's in double figures. 43-26, a 17-point TMP lead. Dwyer doubled up. Drives into the lane. Looks on the backside, ball inside, goes to the rim, can't score it. McDaniel off the glass, no. Yost pulls down the rebound, nearly lost it. Kenningsman up the floor, a catch by low to Shippers. Emily layup is good. Oh, they share the ball so well. That's five for Emily Shippers. 45 to 26, TMP by 19. What a beautiful pass. What oh, a near steal by Vitzdom on the far side. Jillian knew she was too far underneath the rim right there, Dave. Found Emily Shippers who went right to the rack and scored. <laughs> Substitution. Bailey Lacey will come in for TMP and give Savannah Yost a rest. And she will get a well-deserved applause from the TMP faithful on the far side. She has played a game. There's a near steal by Bailey Lacey. It's loose, but Wellsville comes up with it. Nothing easy 
for the Lady Eagles today. Dwyer skips it on the far side, looks in the lane. Lacey knocks it away. It's a TMP steal. Her defense the last two weeks has been as good as it's been all year long. Turnover, Wellsville. TMP has it back up by 19. Left side, Kenningsman. Aubrey gets it into Lacey on the block. Bailey off the glass. And they're going to say a travel oh. before the shot. Travel called before the shot. Boy, a nice catch. Pretty we had, good looking shot. We had the same angle. Yeah. I'm not going to say I'm right. I'm not going to say I'm wrong. Looked like a good shot, but doesn't count. But the Lady Monarchs, everybody playing their hearts out. Timeout for Wellsville with 5.04 to go. But Dave, one thing Team B has to do right now is they have to secure the basketball. They can't get sloppy with it. And they've done a pretty good job of that this game. But they have to do that, and they're going to have to hit free throws down the stretch. Well, they have done what they do on the defensive end. And I noticed a couple of the girls from Wellsville, I, I, they're starting to wear a little bit. And uh, so they have, have worn them down. And now, like you said, if they just take care of the basketball, finish this game strong, it'll be on to the semifinals. And they will get the number seven. The winner of this one gets the number seven seed, Royal Valley. 51 to 48 winners over Nemaha Central. Well, we got some shooters on that team too. Uh, you got that right. Here comes Wellsville down by 19. TMP will be happy if they spend some time rolling it around the perimeter. Lady Monarch shutting off the inside right now. McCoy with the basketball on the right wing. Her three is on the way. Short rebound tipped, and that's going to be a foul called against McCoy, and that will be her fourth. And so it will be two free throws on the other end for Emily Shippers. <laughs> and a got shock set to check in for the Lady Monarchs. TMP up 45 to 26 with 4.45 to play. Two free throws for Emily. The junior's first one is on the way. It rattles off no good. She will get the second opportunity. Anna Gottschalk checks in to replace Kayla Vitstam. Second free throw for Emily. That one, nothing but net. She has six. TMP by 20. 46 to 26. Dwyer on the outside. Plays it over to Amol. A long three is good. Demi Amol hits the three. Her first three of the ball game. She has five. 46 29, TMP by 17. Lady Monarchs not phased. But cool as a cucumber. Aubrey Kittingsman brings the ball up the floor. Scores a little bit, but man, is she dependable. Lacey, top of the key, looking for Aubrey, gets it back to her, coming up on four minutes to play here in the ball game. TMP with the 17 point lead, 46 to 29. Kittingsman right wing, top side to Jillian Lowe. Jillian holds the basketball, picked up by Ball. Now Lacey at the free throw line. Plays it to Emily Shipper's right wing. Emily looks, puts it on the left-handed dribble between the circles. Amold, Aubrey left open for three. It is no good. Rebound tipped, and it is Newhouse with it for Wellsville. They'll push it up the floor to Amold. I was shocked she didn't shoot it. Now in the lane, Dwyer goes in on the baseline. Up and under, shot block, but a foul. And Sydney Dwyer will go to the line and shoot two. 3.36 to play in this one. Dwyer at the line, first one good. Dwyer five out of, four out of five from the free throw line. She has 16, average is 16.6 a contest. 46 to 30, second one good, 46 to 31. Dwyer was 17. And Vitzdam and Yost coming back in for TMP. Kenningsman fighting the double team. Crosses over, gets it across, plays it inside to Gottschalk. Lacey on the baseline. Topside Kenningsman. Now Gottschalk with the basketball on the elbow. Anna plays it to Jillian Lowe. Left side to Shippers. Emily's been playing well tonight. Now Gottschalk between the circles. Right side to Jillian Lowe. 307 to play. TMP by 15. Lowe. Gets it to Kenningsman. Aubrey, right side to Jillian Lowe. 
Jillian looking for some help. Got shock with the catch, and she's going to be fouled up top. That one is on Maddie McCoy, and she is fouled out. McCoy averages 8.3 points a ball game, and she will foul out scoreless in this one. A little bit frustrating. But. So Maddie McCoy fouls out scoreless. And Anna got shocked to the line. Will shoot two. She's shot only four this season. She's two out of four. The senior love to see her get one. Got it. Anna with her first point of the ball game. 47-31. TMP looking to lock this thing down from the charity stripe. Second free throw for Anna. Off the mark, no good. Rebounded by Showalter. 16-point lead for TMP. Wellsville has got to hurry if they want to see something happen here in this state tournament. First appearance, and that's a foul. An offensive foul is called against well, she Wire. Was using, using her forearm to clear space. The official saw it, and she's asking him, what did I do? And that is a uh, Wellsville turnover. Turnover, back over to TMP with 2.45 to go and a 16-point Lady Monarch lead. Lowe gets it on the inbound, nearly lost her balance. Back to Kenningsman. Aubrey plays it up to Emily Shippers right in front of us who gets it back to Aubrey into the front court. Dwyer looking to get something away from Aubrey Kenningsman who says, I don't think so. Not today, not tomorrow, not any other day right now. Bitstam at the free throw line, drives inside, lost it out of bounds. That's a TMP turnover. And timeout for Rose McFarland. 2.24 to play. TMP up 47 to 31. Lady Monarch basketball brought to you by Jeff Pinckney County, a full service accounting firm dedicated to providing you with professional personalized services and guidance in a wider range of financial and business needs. Call 628 3811. Jeff Pinckney Accounting in Hayes and Ellis. And by GY Electric. If you're looking for title insurance, certificates, abstracts, or escrows, call Field Abstract and Title Company in Hayes at 625-2112. Wishing the TMP Monarchs the best of luck at this year's 3A state basketball tournament. Jeremy McGuire, Dave Barber, studio engineer Joel Shorman, along with uh, those two Conyocks upstairs. <laughs> Matthew Campbell, Curtis Sander. Tell you what. Hey, Curtis turned a day another he, year older yesterday. He did. Happy birthday. Yeah, a happy day, birthday. Day, I did talk to him yesterday, though, and wished him a happy birthday. So another happy birthday to him upstairs. We get uh, uh, Siskel and Ebert two thumbs up <laughs> from the top, and some of the young people are going, who? Huh? Roger Ebert, Gene Siskel, film critics. Not that I agreed with them, like, ever. There's <laughs> Amold in the lane. She hits a jumper. That's seven for Demi Amel. 47-33. It's a 14-point ball game and then a foul in the backcourt. And that will go against Allie Newhouse. And Aubrey Kenningsman to the line to shoot two. 89% on the season, 25 out of 28. I see your sister Megan over there. Free throw up and no good. Joe Kay takes the hat off, rubs the head. Maybe that's his good luck. <laughs> Only the fourth miss from the line this season for Aubrey. That one's up and good. So Aubrey was seven points. She had two big three-pointers in the first quarter. 48-33, a 15-point Lady Monarch advantage. Two minutes left to play in this one. Showalter in the corner. Amel for three. No good. Rebounded by Vitstam. Kayla up high with the basketball and then lost it. It's a steal by Wellsville. TMP turnover. And Dwyer in the lane. She scores and she's fouled. So Dwyer with 19. All of a sudden it's a 13-point ball game with a minute 48 to play. And Dwyer at the free throw line. Going to have to finish it. Free throw up and free throw good for Dwyer. She has 20. 48-36, TMP with the 12-point lead. Vitstam into the front court for TMP. Puts on the brakes, gets it back to Kenningsman. Aubrey says, come and get it, and that's going to be a foul called on Dwyer. That's her third, and Kenningsman will go to the line to shoot a pair for TMP. Jillian Lowe set to check back in for the Lady Monarchs. Kylie Allen in the game right now for TMP. And the free throw on the way by Aubrey is no good. Yeah. 
And Lowe will replace Allen. 137 to play, TMP up 48 to 36. Second free throw by Aubrey. That one is good. Two out of four from the line, 49-36. Aubrey with eight points. In the corner, Dwyer for three. Air ball, rebounded by Vidstam. Kayla puts on the brakes, plays it up the floor, and it's stolen. That's a Lady Monarch turnover. In the lane, off the glass and in, Amold hits the jumper. She has nine. It's an 11-point game, 49 to 38. So TMP in cruise control for a while. And a timeout by Wellsville. They have two remaining. And he knew they wouldn't go away. Well, you, don't, you don't get here being a weak team. Yeah. You just don't. And the heart of a team that gets to the state tournament is never going to give up. So TMP needs to finish this thing from the free throw line. It's like we've said that before. <laughs> How many, how many times does it come down to free throws? Raven Loudermill will check in the lineup for Wellsville. And that is Brock Campbell's designated fouler, if I'm going to guess, because right now Paige McDaniel, three fouls. Demi Amold with three. Sydney Dwyer with three. Grace Showalter with four. So a lot of, uh, a lot of fouls right now. So Jillian Lowell inbound. Full court pressure from Wellsville. Inbound, they get it into Adele Riedel. She's pretty good at the free throw line. Low will get it to Kenningsman. Aubrey will bring it up the floor, and she is fouled from behind with a minute 12, and Aubrey will go to the line to shoot two more. And even though she's two for four from the line tonight, there's somebody I want at the free throw line. It's number four. Ab absolutely. Two for Aubrey. First one up, good. Nothing but net. She has nine, 50 to 38, a 12 point TMP lead. Second free throw for Aubrey. On the way, good, she hit them both. She's in double figures with 10. 51, 38, TMP by 13. Amold into the front court behind the back. She'll drive the lane, floats it up and scores two more. That's 11 for Amel, 51 to 40, and then a foul as Kayla Vitzdom got the inbounds pass, and she'll go to the line to shoot two more. One minute to play, TNP up by 11, and that foul is on Demi Amel, and they say that's number five on her. So Demi Amel is fouled out of the ball game. I was one short on her. She'll foul out with 11. Bitstam at the line to shoot two. First one, nothing but net. 16 for Kayla. 52 to 40, TMP. Second one, good. So Bitstam hits them both. She has 17, 53-40. Lady Monarchs by 13 in the lane. Shot up, no good. Rebound tip. It is going to be Wellsville basketball. Newhouse baseline. Count it. Nope. Offensive foul. That's not Caleb, Caleb Bitsum just stood in there and took it. Not very popular behind us, but, I mean, she was, she was standing there. there. <laughs> she was there. That is a Wellsville turnover back over to TMP. And I've been in that situation before. The fans frustrated, coming in with high expectations. Timeout for Rose McFarland, and we'll see if Rose clears the bench right here. And I think she's going to as Wellsville is doing the same thing. Lady Monarchs get the fans on the far side. We got the TMP rising, rising up. And I'll tell you what, they are pumped up right now. This Lady Monarch team replacing four starters and four darn good starters plus some subs that graduated off of a third-place state finisher last year. Well, and they have came in, and they have today have proven well, more than today, but they have let everybody else know that they belong here. Yeah, absolutely, and it's been a great year, and, it, and continue, the year's going to continue for them with a great effort on the floor here today. What are you doing tomorrow afternoon? Uh, you know where I'll be. <laughs> Same spot. Yes, sir, e Bob. So Callan DeWitt, Emily Schulte, Anna Gottschalk, Sasha Wassinger, Wassinger. They just didn't think of they didn't think about broadcasters when they named her Sasha. 
Lady Monarchs have it in the front court, and a foul is going to be called on Emma Livingston. That's her first. And so Emily Schulte, who's 0 for 2 from the free throw line this season, will step up to shoot a pair. You're going to knock this one down. Free throw is on the way and no good. 53 40, 41 seconds left to go. TMP is going to improve to 21 and 2 on the season. Wellsville will finish their season at 18 and 5. Second free throw for Schulte. Good, she hit it. Emily's in the scorebook, her first point. 54 to 40. Here comes Wellsville on the other end. Dwyer, no. Rebound by Wassinger. Sasha goes up tall, gets it to Gottschalk. Now looks to Cowan DeWitt. Gala gets it to Anna. Now they need to get it across. Back over to Schulte with 24 seconds. And another foul is going to be called on Livingston. And that will send Emily Schulte to the line to shoot two more for TMP. seconds left to go. Free throw for Schulte on the way, no good. Sydney Dwyer, the 5'5 senior, checks out. She'll finish the ball game with 20. A well-deserved round of applause from the Wellsville fans behind us. What an effort put forth today in the second free throw by Schulte is good. Emily with two points. Two out of four from the line. 55 to 40. TMP a 15 point lead. Here comes Wellsville down on the other end. Louder Mill plays it up top to Park. They nearly lost it as Livingston has it. Drives in the lane. Tough look off the glass. No. Rebounded by DeWitt. Eight seconds left to go in this one. The Lady Monarchs with the basketball. Wellsville will back off and TMP the Lady Monarchs a steal at the end of the game, but it won't matter. TMP 55, Wellsville 40. The Lady Monarchs march on to the state championship semifinals tomorrow afternoon here in Hutchinson, Dave Barber. Yeah, they came in today against a very good Wellsville team, and it was all about business. But they, you mentioned how relaxed and, and uh, just had a feeling of confidence coming in here. Played relaxed, had a little fun, and and took care of business. Moving well, on. And everybody did their job tonight. Everybody did their job. Yep. It was it was impressive, I think. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there wasn't a player on the floor that didn't contribute in one way or another, and that's what's been impressive down the stretch for this Lady Monarch team. Well, the one thing you have to do right now is you can enjoy this one for a little bit, but you got a 3 o'clock game tomorrow afternoon in the, in the state semifinals against a Royal Valley team that I think shocked everybody here tonight by taking out Nemaha Central. Oh, absolutely. You know, Nemaha Central was not <laughs> expecting that they wouldn't be playing tomorrow, nor anybody else for that matter, that they wouldn't move on. So it, it doesn't get any easier. This is the state tournament. Every game is going to be like this. you got to come in ready to play and take it, take it to them. TMP wins it by a score of 55 to 40. Lady Monarchs 21 and 2. They will play Royal Valley. Wellsville ends their season at 18 and 5. If you're watching on Hayes Post or Eagle TV, we're going to end our broadcast right here. And this reminder, we will not have a stream or video for the rest of the tournament. So you can go to the Kansas State High School Activities Association website, and they will redirect you to location where you can see the ball games. But listen right here on 99KZ Country. We'll have your game right here with your local announcers you know these kids and we uh, are looking forward to it tomorrow afternoon again your final score tmp wins at 55 to 40. again if you're watching on eagle tv or hayes post our broadcast ends right here if you're listening on 99 kz country your post game show is coming up this is lady monarch basketball